Hi, I'm Sarah Borders with Benefits Compliance Solutions. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to do a series on qualifying life events. Now, these events can be deceptively tricky because there are a lot of nuances, a lot of rules, and a lot of things to be aware of before you let somebody make an election change mid-year outside of open enrollment or the new hire election period. There are a few things to think about at a high level. First of all, when someone makes a new election, they are subject to the irrevocability rule, meaning they must continue the same election throughout the plan year and can only change unless they have a qualifying life event, and that's the exception to that rule. Now, the change has to actually be permitted under the cafeteria plan, and it has to be a change that's allowed under the regulations, meaning an employer can't just make up some election and say that that's permissible. That's not allowed. Also, there's a consistency requirement, meaning the change has to be on account of a permissible event. And a really good example of this would be a legal separation. Just because someone has a legal separation doesn't mean they could change their event mid-year because that may not affect the eligibility under the health plan. So I'm going to talk really more in depth about several of these uh, characteristics in the weeks to come. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.